<laughs> All righty. Hi, guys. My name is AC Samuels. Um, I'm a, currently a junior at Riverdale Country School, and I'm the session keeper for today. Um, this is the Faith School Fair, and I'm going to turn it over to you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Susan Montia going and I'm the Senior Associate Director of Admission and Director of Financial Aid at Faith School. This is my sixth year at the school. I'm going to uh, share my screen just to go over a little bit of a presentation with you today. about that. All right, so Faye School is a junior boarding school. Uh, we are located in Southborough, Massachusetts, just 25 miles west of Boston. We have 475 students uh, coming for uh, kindergarten through our ninth grade program with our boarding program beginning in the seventh grade, so seventh through ninth grade junior boarding. Um, we're the first junior boarding school in the United States um, with our two campuses. Our main campus is in Southboro, uh, it has 30 acres of land, and our second athletic campus is just about five minutes away in Marlboro um, and has 36 acres of land. Students do come from a wide, wide range of areas, um, 24 countries, 50 uh, cities and towns in Massachusetts alone, and usually about 15 different states across the United States. So Faith School, uh, we see our goal as really working to provide the foundation for a meaningful life. Um, really preparing students beyond just the academic disciplines, but also instilling lifelong skills. And the world needs incisive thinkers, creative problem solvers, strong writers, and confident public speakers now more than ever. It's these skills uh, that we work to develop in our students, along with helping them become um, stronger students all around, uh, really develop stronger study skills and help them gain an understanding of who they are as learners so that they can apply these skills both in and out of the classroom. FACE students get involved in their communities as athletes, artists, musicians, helpers, leaders, and friends. As members of a multicultural and multinational community, our students know how to interact effectively in a world of differences, and they're curious about the world around them. Um, they, we really foster their curiosity and encourage and nurture them to explore that in formal and informal ways. I would say most importantly, FACE students, they love to learn. Um, they embrace intellectual risk and, and see no limits to what they can achieve. Um, they find joy in, in striving to be their best selves. Um, when students graduate from FACE, they are equipped um, with the foundational tools that they'll need to live life of, of meaning and, and really make a positive difference in the world. Unfortunately, uh, this platform doesn't allow uh, for good viewing of videos, but I do encourage you to visit our YouTube page. Um, there you'll find a great collection of videos on the school, which will hopefully enhance um, your experience in, in learning about Faye School. Um, this one in particular, Upper School at Faye, gives you a good view of the academic program the sort of feel and community in the upper school, as well as information about our boarding program. So if I had to recommend one video for you to see, um, to learn a little bit more about our upper school program, it would be this one, Upper School FA on YouTube. For today, we'll focus a lot on our upper school program, um, which is where we have both a day and boarding program. We have 150 students who are part of our boarding program. Um, and we really do see tremendous benefits for students at a school um, where it's nearly equal day and boarding populations in the upper school. 
our local families are involved and are eager uh, for their students to make lasting friendships with peers from all around the world. And boarders have the opportunity to take day students up on offers for uh, sleepovers and home cooked meals. Um, but of course, with parental permission, um, and and really, we have an active uh, student life on campus all the time. Um, we'll focus a little bit on the academic piece at Fay and, and delve deeply into our program. Um, but you can find a lot of this information on the Fay School website at fayschool.org. Um, specifically on the academics tab, you'll actually be able. Um, to see a detailed course listing by grade level. Every student works really closely with a faculty advisor who serves as a counselor or a point person for um, the student, for your yourselves as parents and also for their team of teachers so if you have questions concerns and need more information you can actually reach out to your child's advisor um, who will be a great guide for you some of the courses at Fay are assigned uh, by grade level and others are assigned based on placement testing. So math and foreign language in particular are based on level of proficiency um, and not necessarily just your last class. Um, some students, some cl classes are also open to students as elective if they've completed the requirements in um, that particular grade level. Um, in math, as I said, students are assigned by ability. Um, our upper school program can support students from pre-algebra all the way up to pre-calculus um, for our seventh through ninth grade students. So really a great range there. In our foreign language, uh, world languages program, we offer four foreign languages for students to choose from. They can study Spanish, French, Mandarin Chinese or Latin as their foreign language options. In English, students are divided in classes um, by grade level. And so some of the differentiation that you might expect would happen within that classroom, where it would be a little bit harder to do that, um, for example, in, in a math class. Um, Students uh, are really working and learning how to become better writers and more abstract thinkers and writers. And so they have frequently have assignments and compositions um, that emphasize uh, just writing with precision. Um, students uh, focus on identifying and understanding elements of grammar in conjunction with their own writing. Um, there's a great range of books that our students will read um, throughout their program. Good examples, um, some will include, um, let's see, our eighth graders start the year off by studying Bolden's Pathfinders, a journey of 16 extraordinary black souls uh, that explores themes of empowerment, self-advocacy, and perspective. They might read um, Mouse or Before We Were Free by Julia Alvarez. Um, so really just a, a great range, including um, things like Mouse, again, A Midsummer's Night's Dream, just really a great range of books that they're studying in the program. In our history program, the emphasis is really about thinking like a historian um, and not about who did what when. We, we don't have a focus on root memorization. Um, we really want students to learn how to delve deeply into the materials that they're studying. Um, all of our text, we don't have traditional textbooks in our history class. It's actually a binder um, with primary source materials that students will learn how do you take apart a constitution or a, a census data and, and make analysis and comparisons there. In a class like uh, our world cultures class, students explore ideas and concepts um, and influences that contribute to the development of cultures such as you know, geography, economics, government, 
history, religion. So over the course of the year, students explore different regions around the world and examine the aspects of culture in order to, de to uh, develop an understanding and appreciation of each of the region's unique cultural um, identities. In science, uh, we really want students to demonstrate uh, that they can ask questions in a scientific way, that they know how to approach writing in a scientific way. Oftentimes, um, the kind of analysis or, or data or writing that is uh, required in science can be very different from the prose that you would put together in perhaps an English class. And so we want them to plan and carry out investigations, analyze and interpret data, um, use math and computational thinking to solve problems, develop and use models. Um, so really, again, focusing on the scientific method and how do you develop that in students. All of our students will take a course in the seventh and eighth grade, it's required. In the ninth grade, it's optional. Um, so our seventh and eighth graders will take a class called Creators Class in the Innovation Lab. Um, the Innovation Lab is four distinct rooms uh, that will challenge students to work through different uh, problems uh, focusing on design thinking. Um, it's 3,000 square foot uh, space um, where they're again looking at exploring design engineering, 3D printing, coding, woodworking. Um, if you are interested in seeing the space, um, please do reach out to me later and we can set up an individual virtual tour. Students all take various forms of arts at Fay. Um, all students participate in the arts program, whether it's uh, visual arts, music, drama. There are certain required classes for seventh graders. And then starting in the eighth grade, students can choose art um, and music electives ranging from digital photography to ceramics. Um, or percussions uh, to face classical handbell ensemble, choruses, and much more. If a student is interested in taking private music lessons, they can continue to do that at Fay. Um, they, if a student has doesn't have that background, they can take a basic musicianship class um, as well. We offer typically two big productions a year in our upper school. The winter term, it's a play, and in the spring term, it's typically a musical. Many times families uh, look at Faye or consider Faye also for their secondary school placement. Um, we, our program, as I said, ends in the ninth grade. And so we work with you to help you find a high school that would be a really good fit for your child. Um, so our graduates are highly sought after by secondary schools um, because they're both well-rounded and well-prepared. Our secondary school counseling office is composed of four counselors who will work closely with students and families. Um, over the course of the admission season, more than 100 different secondary schools um, counselors will come and visit campus and, and meet with our families. Um, we offer SSAT prep classes right on campus. Students can take the SSAT and, and or the IC exam right on campus as well. And so uh, we help navigate that process to make sure that students have many wonderful options when they graduate from Faye. One of the um, more challenging things that we're all dealing with is uh, this distance learning program and trying to maintain some traditions that are special and unique um, to our school. And for Faye, one of those is our upper school morning meeting. Um, we gather in the theater three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and hear from the upper school head, the student government president, um, our color presidents, or other various student leaders um, throughout the school year. And so that has been some something that I greatly miss about um, not being able to be on campus together this spring. Uh, so I love that we've gotten creative and now our morning meetings um, 
don't happen three times a week, but sometimes happen in the afternoon because our students uh, do represent 14 different time zones. And so we've gotten pretty creative about how we can make sure um, morning meetings and lots of the traditions are really still accessible to everyone. That includes our wonderful advising program. So our advisors will um, meet with our students uh, individually, but also as a group, just check in on how things are going um, and make plans for the future. So this is a good example of what um, our, in our, although we are a co-ed school, our advising program is separated by gender. We think it's important for kids to have time um, to talk about things in individual groups as well. And so this is a great place for students to do that. In the June, one of the best parts of the junior boarding program, in my opinion, is uh, really built on the foundation that we have a lot of structure and support. Um, so students, uh, a junior boarding program should look very different than a boarding high school program. A uh, good example, you know, I, I did work at a, a boarding high school. I worked at Phillips Academy Andover for a number of years. Bigger school students had a lot more freedom and flexibility to go to their dorm rooms during the day if they had a free period. Um, not at Fay. Uh, students are assigned to study hall locations during the day if they have a, a free period, um, and the evening uh, study halls are are supervised as well. Um, and students can earn um, the privilege of studying in their room if they're academic grades and effort grades are strong enough, but really working to make sure that there's a uh, structure um, to their day and their routines um, is important and uh, also lots of support from really wonderful um, teachers and peers. It's a great chance for students to build on some independence. As a mom myself, um, I know often I have to fight the temptation to just go and fix it for my son. Um, really helping and empowering students to build on their independence um, is a great skill that they will have in boarding school. But again, you have a lot of really supportive people, including dorm parents, who are there um, to help students if they're having a bad day, to communicate with parents as well, if there are any issues or concerns on the residential life side. Our students love that they are able to take on various leadership roles. These are, this is a picture of a couple of our proctors uh, last, a couple of years ago. Um, these students are like uh, resident assistants in college dorms, um, except that they are ninth graders. Um, oftentimes they are just a great resource for, for new students um, who are acclimating to being away from home for the first time. Um, they can help students uh, in addition to working with the dorm parents, just understand routines or the importance of it, help negotiate or, or um, talk about, uh, help with a, a dorm, um, situation, let's say your your roommate is making you really frustrated, but you don't want to talk to the dorm parent about it because it's not that big of a deal yet. Um, and so it's important to have other student leaders that can help. So these uh, proctors can serve in that role. Um, they are also kids who are heads of different sports team. This gentleman is uh, also a head of our color team. So he is the white color president. Um, our school colors are red and white. And so he's building camaraderie with the younger ones and, and earning points for their team here. Um, but a lot of different opportunities for kids to take on different leadership roles in sports, in community service activities, and more. The global perspective is truly the benefit um, of the boarding experience or one of the benefits of a boarding experience. You can make friends um, from throughout the world, share experiences, learn firsthand about what life is in different parts of the world. Um, and you can build these really important lifelong friendships together. 
in the boarding program um, at different schools. Uh, you will find various ways that uh, schools will present the weekend program. Um, and I encourage you to look really closely or ask lots of questions of the admissions representatives about what is included in the cost of tuition. Uh, FAE uses a comprehensive tuition model. Uh, we have chosen to think about holistically what are all of the things that students will need and their time at the school and what are, are the sort of must-haves for everyone that's a part of that program and those things are all included in the cost of tuition. So our wonderful weekend programs are included in the cost of tuition. Things like um, laundry service um, included in the cost of tuition. Some things that are more individual are not. So um, the optional uh, private music lesson, that is not included in the cost of tuition, but many things you'll find are included. And this is a great range of options. So whether your child chooses to go to a Red Sox game or stay on campus and do some cooking um, with a dorm parent, there's not an additional charge for you as a family. Our students really do love that they get to pick and design their own weekends. Um, we do not have Saturday classes. I know many boarding schools have Saturday classes. If students work really hard during the week. We think it's important for them to have some downtime and, and balance and um, opportunity to, to make more friendships uh, in, in a relaxed setting, um, non-academic setting, and so the students will actually design their own weekend based on their interests. A great um, piece of routine for students is our Sunday evening dinners. Um, tend to get a little bit of, of a um, upgrade on Sundays, whether you know it's the tablecloths or votive candles come out, but it's a, a nice tradition to have a special Sunday dinner before um, delving into getting back into the routine of, of the week. Um, and so all of the students, all of our boarding students, do have to be back for Sunday dinner um, or get special permission from the head of the upper school. Athletics is a big part at Bay. Um, all students will participate in sports every season, um, but you get to choose, or students get to choose what sport they are interested in. Uh, we have a no cuts policy, um, so every student gets to play the sport that they are most interested in, um, but we get to decide what level um, is most appropriate for them. So if your child is a really com AAU competitive level, um, athlete, they will find appropriate challenge um, and in our athletic program, but if they are starting a new sport, that's great too. We want them to do a sport that they're really excited about. Our coaches are our teachers, um, and so that again, I think sometimes changes the approach or the feel of the programming. Uh, again, we, we do put together really competitive programs, but um, that teacher uh, component and, and really trying to build life skills um, never leaves uh, and, and is also very important um, on the athletic field or course. The focus is really challenge and fun that is appropriate for your child. Here are a couple of accomplishments that we're proud of over the last few years. Again, you know, I think we, we do field competitive teams, but what I'm most proud of is that every student gets to play the sport that they're most interested in. Another great video for you to see is uh, the student perspective video. This is students speaking on their own experience. Um, this is, uh, so I encourage you again, visit our YouTube page and learn more there. And never hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Um, this is the Maid Admissions Office uh, email and phone number, and Gina will be sharing my individual contact as well. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to, to reach out to us. All righty, you have about 10-ish minutes left. Um, so if there's anything you wanted to add that wasn't on the presentation, you know. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about the application process and what comes next. 
Um, all of our application materials are available online and we do accept various types of applications. So uh, we have our own FAY application. Uh, we also accept the standard application online as well as the Gateway to Prep Schools application. And so um, please feel free to visit our website, fayschool.org for um, more information about the various applications that we accept. Um, but in the application, the first piece really gives us a lot of biographical information, um, best way to contact you. Uh, it also has a parent questionnaire. So uh, we, we wanna learn from you as parents about um, what, what you're looking for in a school community. Um, what, is, what have you observed as your child, um, as an individual and as a learner? Um, what are your hopes and dreams um, for your child? Um, there's a section that goes over the application, uh, the students' uh, extracurricular activities. Um, please really do think broadly about um, what are the things that your child does. I know as a, a first gen to college uh, person myself, when I was going through the application process, I just didn't even think about um, some of the activities that I did through my church. And those were really important and significant time commitments for me. And so I encourage you to think about um, really what are the various things, uh, even if they're not sort of an organized activity through the school that you, that your child is engaged in and make sure that you share that as part of the extracurricular activities. Um, there will be an essay portion. Uh, we ask the students to choose one of three essay topics to write on. And uh, then there is also an interview. Um, so we do ask uh, students and parents to chat with an admission officer as part of the application process for the interview. Um, my hope is that we'll all be back on campus in September and that you can come and visit us. Um, but we also offer Skype interviews. So even if we're open, but your schedule doesn't allow for you to um, come up for a visit during the work week, um, please don't hesitate to contact us about scheduling a Skype interview. Um, some families will start the process that way and then come up for a full campus visit or revisit day um, if they've uh, gained admission to the school. So please don't let the interview be a reason why you don't um, begin the application process. Um, then um, we also ask students to take the SSAT or the ISEE and submit one of those to us. Uh, we don't have a preference. Um, we don't have a minimum or maximum score. Really choose um, whichever test is most accessible to you or if you are applying to multiple schools, um, a, a test that more schools are also accepting, uh, we, we will take either one. And then the rest of the pieces pretty much come directly from your child's school. Um, so we do ask for transcripts, um, not just current year, but previous year. Ideally, I'd I like to see at least three years worth of um, grades. Um, and then we ask for letters of recommendation. So um, there's a, a principal form that's usually filled out by the school principal or uh, a student advisor or counselor, um, an English teacher recommendation, and a math teacher recommendation. Um, so all of those pieces uh, work together to complete the application. Um, we do offer rolling admission. Um, there are some schools that have a, a firm date of, you know, apply by May 15th and you'll be notified by March 10th. Um, with rolling admission, the sooner you apply, potentially the sooner you'll get an admissions decision. Um, and as like all schools, obviously our options are admit um, wait list or deny the application if we feel that, you know, we're not a good fit for your child or they're not a good fit for us. Um, I do encourage you to um, apply to multiple schools. I mean, I, I think um, if you are on the fence uh, about uh, 
you know, whether or not to apply to a boarding school, um, go and visit a couple um, or, you know, submit applications to a few. Each school is going to be very different and the focus should be about finding the right fit for your child. Um, but really pay attention to those deadlines. Deadlines are super important in the, in the admissions process and also in the financial aid process. So Faith School offers over $3.4 million in financial aid, um, but we, you'll be surprised at how quickly that can go. So it really is important that you um, check each school's websites and complete the uh, application materials by their required deadline. Um, on our website, there is an application checklist form, um, which many families have found really helpful in navigating the application process at Faye. Um, so please feel free to print that out and use that as a guide, um, but others will also create just a running list that they can work off of to make sure that they have all of the dates for the various schools that they are considering. Um, so uh, please do, again, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions. My name is Susan Montia Going, Senior Associate Director of Admission and Director of Financial Aid at Faith School and a proud partner of RISE. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Susan, and thank you guys for, you know, watching. Thank you. Your presentation was lovely. Um, I'm AC Samuels. Um, I'm a junior at Riverdale Country School, and I'm happy to have been able to help today. So. Thank you. Yeah.